it is possible but this is like a shortcut system for you to get your foot in the door and get a career Hey, it's Paul from HowToNetwork.com here and also 101labs, 101labs.net. So this is advice for those of you who are struggling to get a career in IT. You maybe aren't getting called for interviews or you can't get ahead or you're getting called for interviews and not getting jobs. So this is something that I found has worked really well. It worked well for me and I've got some friends that I worked with years ago at Cisco TAC who established careers in their own right. So the usual thing is you're going to pass something like Cisco CCNA and be competing with a lot of people, hundreds, thousands, whatever, even after you've got the certification. So you've got to work out a strategy and the strategy is finding an IT career that uh, pays well, that you can get certified in, but not many people are applying for. And I'm going to give you five, although there's a much larger number but um, five ones you could actually start working on straight away. I think the first one I'll, I'll demonstrate. I'll show you on my website. Obviously, there's many other out there. You can self-study with books, but this is easiest for me. So I added these a while ago. The Certified Wireless Network Associate and the Certified Wireless Security Professional. So what I'm talking about is a career as a wireless engineer. You can support wireless. Um, loads of companies sell wireless products, including Cisco, and some sell only wireless products, and they need to be supported. And they're not gonna hire you without um, a certification. And the other thing is, nobody's bothering I think there's a CCIE wireless, but that would take years and cost a small fortune to study for. So you can start with something basic. I always recommend the CompTIA Network Plus, whatever you're going to do, so you learn all your TCPIP. But if I choose, for example, the Certified Wireless Network Associate, what happened was I was working at Cisco TAC and a friend of mine who worked on the switching team decided to learn more and more about wireless and it was in its early days and um, he became the go-to person at the Cisco TAC for wireless and he just taught himself and read the notes and learned some bug fixes and that kind of stuff. So if you study for the wireless, this is say 15 hours, you learn all about radio frequencies, all the wireless regulations. This is all covered in a lot of the company stuff already in Cisco. The protein to Carl's. This is really important. The WAN wireless LAN network architecture and design. A bit of security, not a lot. Radio frequencies, troubleshooting, so obviously you can support it. Uh, we've added a lab uh, just as a, a bonus so you can configure all the stuff together. And then um, some exams to prepare you. Obviously, there's the security track you can do. If I check for um, CWNA, so this is a whole career, is uh, my point. Although I'm taking a long time to explain it, but hopefully I'll get the concept. So I think you need the CWNA for anything, but basically they offer Wi-Fi analysis, Wi-Fi design, brilliant career. The Wi-Fi security I've mentioned, teaching Wi-Fi. They've got a expert level category here uh, technician etc so these is um, vendor neutral as far as i know it's on the cwnp.com website and um, it's well worth considering as a career and i think wireless is obviously going nowhere it's very interesting and there's not much uh, by way of competition so this is my entire point the other thing is not many of you think about this but there's something that you can do which it doesn't age so you don't have to keep you might have to recertify but you don't have to keep learning new stuff and you can do this with a technical purview this is ITIL so the IT infrastructure library is absolutely huge they use it in many many companies from medium to large and I it's an infrastructure it's a way of supporting your uh, your company from an IT perspective it's a way of troubleshooting problems so it's a, it's a methodology rather than uh, needing technical ability this goes from beginner to expert level so beginner intermediate expert we've got the foundations here you could probably consider doing this along with something like the CompTIA project plus so obviously this is project management but it does kind of um dovetailing with ITIL as well so look into it consider it obviously research for ITIL jobs 
in whatever area you're living in and project jobs. You can obviously do technical project management also. So this is something that IT people don't generally um, consider and, they, and so there isn't much competition is what I'm saying. Now the other one is, I alluded to this earlier, is design, network design. So the network designer plans the cabling, the IP addressing and the uh, design. So they generally use some sort of design tool, not like Microsoft Physio, but something like that, where you connect all of your devices together and you'll have a image that you can uh, refer to. And generally you will hand that over to some sort of design assurance and then the network will start to be built based on your designs. You don't get involved in any of the troubleshooting, the cabling and all of the stuff that um, is probably a bit tougher. So if you're considering that, you want to look at the Network Plus, definitely uh, all the IPv6 stuff from beginner to expert level. And um, obviously if it's wireless, I already mentioned this, there's a certified wireless design uh, certification here as well so consider that as a, a career job look on the uh, websites again the career websites for uh, design roles cisco don't offer that uh, anymore there used to be the ccda we have it on this website cisco design but um you know it's less technical the other thing is looking for a um, niche within a larger niche or if you're in america niche i think you call it so you could learn linux obviously you're going to have competition because it's a popular topic but you can actually drill down to a specific flavor so look at the red hat we're updating currently, we've got three modules up of the Red Hat Certified Systems Analyst, I think the A stands for, or Associate maybe. You can look for something that's very well recognized that not many people seem to uh, want to get uh, certified in. So the RHCSA, have I spelled it out in full? Oh yeah, Administrator. So apologies for that. So this has been updated for uh, 2002 with the latest version of um, the Red Hat software. So um, consider that instead of just going, I'm going to learn Linux. And if you're going to learn Linux, I recommend you do the um, LPI Essentials, which is the baby exam, if you don't know anything, and then jump into the Linux Red Hat. So if you start searching on the you know, job hunted websites for uh, Red Hat, you'll start seeing um, job offers are less and less, but there's less people applying for those jobs. So you've got more chance of getting ahead and you can easily start doing the uh, troubleshooting um, and basic support for that. The last thing I want to mention, so that was number four. The last thing, number five, is Wireshark. Now you will see Wireshark mentioned in job applications. So you might be thinking to yourself, that's not actually a career. Well, there's probably not a lot of careers that are only asking for Wireshark. It's the kind of thing you would need to know when you're doing network troubleshooting and support. But there is a career and I was offered a job early on after I left uh, Cisco, which does things like um, goes into companies and does what's called network baselining to look at what the capacity they're using, where the bottlenecks are, and then it will give you a it will give them a recommendation. This is your bottleneck. You need to upgrade this part of your network with cables or you need to add VLANs or a higher model server, something like that. Now, you won't decide that you will just give the customer the information and then they will um, make their own decisions based on their budget and business. So uh, Wireshark, I don't know how long this course is. It's six hours. It's a recognized certification. I don't think it expires, but please do check for yourself on the Wireshark uh, website. So how to use Wireshark. But this is the thing you're going to be doing as a career or offering. You could do it as a freelance as well. And baselining a network and um, a network forensics overview, performance problems. So people will complain that the internet's running slow or DHCP's running slow, that kind of thing. You will provide them with data and graphs telling them um, why, why it's happening. You can also do the same for IPv6, which is being added to the uh, syllabus. You learn all your TCP IP in detail. You can dig into the packets and um, you know really have a, a deep um, understanding. And this is a, a video here. So you can actually see inside the packets to and from and protocols. So, um, you know, this is just some ideas because a lot of people are saying, I can't get ahead. I can't get my foot in the door, not get my interviews or just not getting offers even after interviews. I know it's hard. It is possible, but this is like a shortcut system for you to get your foot in the door and get a career. And then if you want, you can obviously then go with some experience to the standard 
kind of career route. So I hope that helps. If you've got any questions, um, pop them underneath. Obviously, we've got this howtonetwork.com website offering all the stuff I mentioned. We've got over 40 courses now. There's a coupon link underneath as well. Or if you just want to watch my free videos and listen to me ramble on about uh, IT stuff, then please uh, hit the subscribe link and there's a bell also and you'll see our videos at the top of your feed. All right, that's all. Thanks for watching.